Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to Card Making Project 607. Today we're going to make a gorgeous and really pretty card. Not only that, it's really quick. And if you forget birthdays or you suddenly have to make a good luck card or a thank you card, I think this one is ideal. You would be able to tweak the sentiment and just go for it. Add your layers and just don't th even think about it. There's also a section in it that if you're making something really quick and easy, you don't have to include. And I'll tell you more about that as we go along. I'd like to show you what we're going to use. Now, everything I do use, I should put in a detailed list on my blog. So please be sure to check it out. Um, I normally only show you the stamps and the dies, but I wanted to show you this because I think these are so pretty. These are the Anna Griffin lace border stickers. And basically the flat stickers that you can either use together to decoupage one over the top of the other, or you can use separately and make something unique, making them stretch twice as far. I think these are really versatile and we're probably going to use, use them quite a few times on our projects. And this card today makes them look wow and easy. So don't, you know, don't be put off. Try these. They're going to work for your cards, your scrapbooking, your mini books, your journaling. They're just great stickers and they've got good stick to them as well. So the dies we're going to use, now this is the little section, you don't have to use this section. So if you've only got the lace border dies, you can still make this, um, sorry, the lace border stickers, you can still make this card. I'm adding an extra section to it um, and when I get to it I'll say, you know, you don't have to add this bit. But for mine I'm going to use the lace border dies both the shadow layer of this one and the ornate layer but as I say you don't have to these work so well with the lace border stickers because they're the same design so if you've got both good on you if you haven't got both you've either got just the lace border stickers or you've just got these you could still make an alternative to the card so, you know, don't get too um, hung up about it. So those are the dies. Now the card base that we're going to work with is a 6 by 6 inch square card, just in ivory. And before we go any further, I've marked where 3 inches is on the front. I know we don't do a lot of measuring, but I just wanted to make a mark where the centre was. I've already used my handmade by... Um, Anna Griffin rubber stamp so I've added my name and the project number and that way the person you give the card to will remember that oh Anne-Marie made this for me or whoever I don't add project numbers on obviously onto the cards that I um, send to people but I do for this just to keep me in check because um, my brain is a bit fuzzy at times and I'll be thinking what number are we on now but you see, it keeps me in line. I'm using my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp crease along the card edge. Just to make sure it's going to stand proud and stand up and look nice and professional. Now the inside of this card is kind of as quick as the outside. Um, it's just such a pretty one. And to be fair, I've not included a sentiment for it. Because I thought, you know, not always do you want to include a sentiment. You just want to write a long message. So this would be perfect for that. Plus it's a quick card. So the first thing I've done is I've cut a piece of cardstock from the Damask cardstock collection from Anna Griffin. And the cardstock is 5.8 by 5.8 inches. So that it gives a nice border for the inside. I've got flat double sided tape on the back. And I'm simply going to pop this through the centre of our card, like so. There we go. Next, I've got a piece of ivory cardstock, just plain ivory. I've not inked the edges. I've not done anything to it apart from cut it 
to five and a half inches by five and a half inches so that it sits in the middle of our card on the inside again flat tape on the back of it and all we're doing is popping it in the card like so there we go now the last thing for the card which is going to make it it's just going to make it jump out at you i think i've trimmed down part of the roses that we're going to use for the front of the card now the lace border stickers come in 12 inch long strips so i've cut some in half to use for the front so this is half of the excess that we're not using for the front so i'm not wasting it these are stickers and the back of it just simply peels away and as you go down just pull the carrier sheet away from the back of the sticker and then you can use your sticker wherever you want and as I say they've got a good stick on them I'm going to add mine roughly to the side of the inside like so so I can press it down and that is our inside complete it's going to match the outside perfectly a lot of room for your message so it doesn't have to be specifically for a certain occasion however ours is going to be a thinking of you card but you could make it a birthday card wedding card get well soon card whatever nice and quick so the outside of the card is really quick so i'm using my bone folder to make sure that's still nice and sharp so i've taken one of the lace border stickers and this is the flat section of the sticker all i'm going to do is peel the back away and i'm going to add this to the edge of our card now i've already trimmed mine down to fit you'll notice i've not even put a cardstock layer on the back of the card because it doesn't need it so where i've cut this lace border sticker in half i'm placing the second half at the other side of the card i am going over the edge so you don't have to but i am taking it just slightly over the edge so to fit in your envelope you might need a bigger size or if you've only got the envelopes that come with the cards just take it in a little bit and that this is where the middle section you don't have to do if you don't do the middle section that we're going to do the extra layer you can take them in a bit so but mine i think it just gives it a nice effect where it hangs over the edge now for the middle of the card i've used the actual lace border die set the shadow layer and the ornate layer i've used the damask cardstock and i've simply cut it in half so i've die cut it and then cut it in half if you don't have the dies this is the little bit you don't have to do and i'm just positioning it just so it's touching the flowers at the side and this is why i wanted the mark in the middle so i've die cut um i've got the second piece i should say and again i'm just adding it so that it kind of touches the flowers like that so we've stretched the shadow layer just a fraction uh, maybe even half a centimetre so then the ornate layer I've cut out in pink metallic cardstock and I am just going to put that over the previous layer now we're only going to see a touch of this it's just giving it a hint of something extra so again this layer I cut in half and it's just going over the shadow layer leaving that little gap in the middle 
So for the gap in the middle, I've taken one of the other stickers from the Lace Border Collection in a contrasting colour. So I had the pale pink and this is the deep red. Now you'll see as I place it over the middle, because I've got 3D foam on the back of this, instead of using it as a sticker, it's going to cover most of the die cut that we've just had, but it just leaves a hint of it at the edges. You can see where it just pokes out. So that's the little section. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use that layer because it will still work. You'll be able to bring the base stickers in a little bit and then the centre one will still be on 3D foam and you're still going to get a contrast. Next, we can add the next layer of the stickers. So this is the still flat stickers like I showed you for the middle, but instead of using them as flat stickers, I've added 3D foam. And all we do is marry up the stickers over the top of the flowers that are on the edges. So then you're making decoupage of those flowers. And we're going to do the same at the other side. Just add the flowers over the previous layer, both with 3D foam on. So they stand proud. Then in the centre, we've got the red roses as well. Again, on 3D foam. So we just pop these over. This is the half that I've used for the inside of the card. So the outside is on 3D foam, but the inside is flat. I've got a sticker, a sentiment sticker. Now this is taken from the toil embellishment stickers. I say toil, you might say toil or however we say it. We know which I mean. So it's the sentiment sticker thinking of you. Instead of using it as a sticker I've got 3D foam on it and I'm just going to position it over the top of the centre of those roses. I've then got a large pink bow that I'm going to add just underneath the sentiment, like so, she says. And that is our card finished. Now, if it wasn't for me talking, and if you don't have the dies, there's no die cutting involved, you could just use the lace border stickers. That's the inside, matches perfectly to the outside. Look at those beautiful layers and stands up perfectly it's definitely going to look great on the mantelpiece is that it's just so pretty it really is i love those stickers they're just so gorgeous with the flowers and the layers and the lace they are going to work on so many different projects can you imagine paper folding using those oh yes a little bit of paper folding either side of the lace so don't be scared to change the sentiment on anything that you make. If I make it thinking of you and you prefer to make it for a wedding anniversary, etc. Um, please check the blog and look at the extra photos that are on there of the project. Nice close-up photos as well. Say hello on Facebook if you look for Amarivo and give me a like. Give me the thumbs up on YouTube and don't be afraid to share the projects either. So I do love hearing from you and I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.